Good morning, students. Today is your lecture number five. Food quality. First, it is milk. Milk is an ideal food for infants and children, and a good supplementary food for adults. Its per capita consumption was estimated to be 600 milliliters in England in uh, 17s. More recent data reveal an average daily meal intake recommended as 150 ml for adults. Cow milk contains 3.5% protein, uh, of which cuisine accounts for 3 micron percent. Lactoalbumin is 0.4%. 4% and lactoglobulin 0.1% uh, all the three have high biological values it may be mentioned that when milk is heated only lactoalbumin and lactoglobulin get precipitated casein is held in solution by calcium phosphate in the form of calcium casein Casinogenate. The latter beds are during the process of food formation. Fats are present in emulsion as glycerides of fatty acids, mainly um, butyric, uh, oleic, uh, stearic, and palmitic acids. Milk fat is easily digested. Carbohydrate is present in milk as lactose. On fermentation, it is converted into lactic acid by lactobacillus lactis. The acid coagulates casein, forming fruit. Milk contains most vitamins and all minerals but vitamin C and iron are present only in very small quantities. It is a rich source of assimilate, assimilable calcium. Milk burn diseases. Diseases which can be directly transmitted through milk are brucellosis, poor fever, and anthrax. However, contaminated milk can also act as a vehicle for other pathogens and can be responsible for enteric fever, food poisoning, and dysentery, dysentery diarrhea, and uh, potentially even polyomyelitis and effective uh, hepatitis might be transmitted through, through infected milk. Methods of milk preservation. First method it is pasteurization. It is a process by which milk is made free from all pathogens, including tubercle uh, bacillus, which is killed at uh, 63 degree most nutrients are preserved during pasteurization there are two methods first it is holding or holder process this is a british method in which milk is heated to and maintained at a temperature of uh, 65.5 degree or 150 uh, for half an hour, then it is cooled down to 50 F or 10 um, uh, grados. It is a slow method. Flash process or high temperature short time process. This American method is fairly quick. Milk is heated to 71 degree or 72 degree kept at this temperature for 50 seconds then and then suddenly 
4 to 10 um, degree. Steriliz sterilization by boiling. It is a common to boil milk. Vegetables form an important part of dairy diet. They fall into three groups, leafy, non-leafy, and starchy. Leafy vegetables. They are cheap, protective foods, being rich in minerals like calcium and iron, and vitamins like uh, vitamin A, uh, vitamin C, riboflavin, and uh, folic acid. It is to be noted that green leafy vegetables can also be a fairly good source of protein. This is so for two reasons. Firstly, the biological value of leaf proteins is quite high. Secondly, through the protein content of fresh leafy vegetables is low. It is so because of the relatively high water content. This means that dried green leafy vegetables can be a rich sources of protein. For example, the protein content of fresh and dried uh, holocasia leaves is 3.9% and 13.7% uh, respectively. Similarly, the values for uh, fenugreek leaves are 4.44% and 90.5% respectively. Non-leafy vegetables. They include tomato, cauliflower, pan pumpkin, uh, carrot, turnip, and radish. Uh, their leaves, in addition, may also form a part of diet. Uh, their carbohydrate content is low, from 3 to 8 percent, as compared to starchy vegetables. Cereals and milks. Cereals and milks are rich in carbohydrates. Being the uh, staple food, they form the major sources of protein. They are a good sources of minerals and several B complex vitamins. Wheat. It contains more protein than any other cereal. For example, uh, Protein consists uh, 20%, but is deficient in lysine, which is made up by eating chapatis with uh, legumes. When mass raw wheat flour is sipped, about 5% brain is removed, and the remaining flow of 95% extracting is used for making chapatis. Straining through flows about 10% is removed and the remaining uh, refined flow of 90% extraction is used for making bread. Highly uh, refined flow is poor in proteins, minerals, and vitamins. The high extraction wheat flour is fortified in the western countries with calcium and tannin to make up for the loss. Semolina prepared from the outer part of wheat is richer in minerals and vitamins and is used for making puddings. Wheat whole contains gluten, a sticky protein that makes the uh, dough um, spongy and stretchable. Rice. The grain consists of three parts, embryo, endocarp, and pericarp. The pericarp and embryo contain most of the proteins, fats, minerals, and vitamins. The endocarp mainly contains starch. The protein contains of rice is from 6 to 8.5 percent. So rice contains less protein than wheat. 
rice protein is qualitatively better than wheat protein. The nutrient value of rice depends on the way the husk is removed. Hard willing removes a good part of uh, pericarp along with husk. This reduces the nutrient value. Under milling and hand pounding are less damaging. Meat. The term meat includes all flesh foods such as beef, pork, mutton, poultry, liver. Muscle proteins consist mainly of myosin and small amounts of albumin and myoglobulin. And some meats such as pork are rich in fat. Meats in general are rich in vitamin B12, iron and protein. Consumption of infected meat may lead to various diseases. The more important meat borne diseases are brucellosis, anthrax, food poisoning, and infections by helminths like hyena, solium, uh, and others. And matters of food preservation. First, it is heating and canning. The food is heated to kill all bacteria. It is then kept uh, in, the, in the can and heated again so as to drive out the air from the can, which is then sealed. Vitamin E is reduced in this process, but the loss is lesser than that during cooking. Vitamin, vitamin A stands heat well in the absence of air. Vitamin B1, B2, and D and e, e are not destroyed. This is a good matter suitable for many foods such as fish, meat, peas, pan, pineapple, tomato, sausage. So, drying or dehydration. This method removes the moisture required for growth of bacteria. It is suitable for milk and biscuit, biscuits, but not for meat. Fruits and vegetables such as apples and chilies are exposed to sun for drying. Smoking. Meat and fish after salting are dried and smoked. The organic compounds present in smoke are hermicidal. Uh, however, the parasites present in it may not die because the smoke doesn't uh, penetrate deep. Salting and picking. From 18 to 25 percent brine is used for picking fish and meat. Brine vinegar or wheat acids prevent the growth of worms, so they may not kill them. Pepper, cheese and mustard are used for picking vegetables. Bacon is highly salted pork. Preparing jams, sugar syrup, syrup is used to preserve foods in the form of jams. It prevents bacteria growth. Cooling and refrigeration. Cold kills some parasites and reduce the growth of harmful bacteria. Meat, egg, milk, vegetables, fruits, and fish start uh, decomposing when the temperature rises above 10 degrees. The stability and food values are not affected as a result of refrigeration. Gas storage. Uh, carbonic dioxide atmosphere is often used to store foods and sometimes meat. Glazing or coating. Sodium silicate solution is used to preserve eggs. The method closes the pores in the shell. Addition of chemicals. Certain chemicals help in preservation. Those per permitted are 
benzoic acid, benzoic, uh, sulfuric acid, and uh, sulfates. Methyl bromide is a widely used uh, fumigant for controlling infestation in foods and agricultural commodities. This is being phased out now because it is an ozone depleting agent. Thank you.